Hello, Bring a Trailer and the million unique viewers that are visiting the site. Every once in a while, a uh, car like the one behind me is worthy of a fireside chat. We have no fireside. It's just me, Steve Serio from Bond Group and the item at hand, 1954 Jaguar XK120 SE Roadster or XK120M Roadster, depending on which continent you're on. This car is amazing. Um, every once in a while, local, we find things, and we find things that have been sitting, been put away um, with one family or two families. This is one of those cars. Since 1958, this car has resided within the same family. Brother, sister, son, grandson. We've got all of this documented in the history, and it's amazing because these folks took care of this car. They didn't abuse it. They didn't leave it outside. They documented every single thing they did to it. They never threw out anything. Uh, and as for instance, we have, I don't wanna tear this up while I'm doing it. This is the original outside wallet to the owner's manual. I've never seen one of these. You've got all of the supplements for the owner's manual oil filter and lubrication, maintenance and instructions, the distributors and dealers book, and uh, most important, they covered with a little bit of your grandmother's saran wrap, the cover of the owner's manual, which is absolutely brand new. That kind of describes the preservation quality of the car. If you want something for a preservation class, I can't guarantee you that you'd get into Pebble Beach showing this car, but you have a pretty darn good chance. The original interior, 100%. The paint, I'm gonna call it 80% original paint, and I'll walk through where the blends are on the car, not from accident damage, but from you know, various scrapes over the years. To document the mileage, which we've got, because we have, oh, I don't know, hundreds of, uh, not hundreds, but lots of registrations in here, but these little envelopes, I mean, talk about a frugal Yankee mentality. These people wasted absolutely nothing, including envelopes that would come in the mail to write things on. So in 1974, the car had 35,670 miles. And every time the car was inspected, oil changed, fuel put in it, lubricated, uh, keys being made, a battery change, it's all here in the documentation through 1984 on this piece of paper. And we've got mileage in the 37,000 mile range. Currently, the car sits at 39,000, almost 500 miles. We didn't want to get it over 40,000, although we have been driving it and putting some miles on it to make sure everything's okay. Again, it's an SE or M, depending on where you're from. Uh, you'll know by looking at the car because of the dual exhaust, the wire wheels, it's sort of a giveaway. Uh, you've got an increased power bump. The suspension is slightly different. And we've got, from Jaguar, the Heritage Trust Certificate showing that the car was manufactured on January 28, 1954 and sent to Hoffman uh, and then sold new in February 1954. Going through the records, we have every bill of sale from 1958 within the family. So it's curious to see that uh, the car sold for, in 1958, in July, $2,400. Uh, and then they seem to have gotten less valuable over the years. Either that or they were kind to each other and they were just keeping records. Because uh, it was 600 bucks in 1968. Uh, we've got another bill of sale here within the family. Uh, and this is... 1997. So we've got uh, appraisals, we've got some service records. Not only did the car uh, stay in one family, it stayed in Massachusetts the whole time. The original owner, Joseph Schwartz, not entirely sure if we can tie him into the family to say this is a one family owned. So for the record, let's say it was Joseph Schwartz in Ayer, Massachusetts, then selling the car on in 1958. I believe to grandma and grandpa in this picture, uh, 
and this is dated 1968, and then down to one of the grandchildren, and this is dated 1978. So it's really neat to have this kind of documentation. And if we walk through the car a little bit here, I can go through the incredible little tiny details that I've never seen in an XK120 that have survived over the years, proving the car was never left outside, it was never abandoned, it was never sort of forgotten about for a season. These folks took great care of it, although they didn't use it much in the last 30 years, it was always covered inside, taken care of. Let's go have a look at the car. There's not much in this car that was added, taken away. Uh, it is original. We've got seat belts that are back there that were obviously not back there in 1954. So keep them, take them out. That's the next person's call. The leather on the seats, uh, worn. There's a, a little tiny hole in the bottom of the, the seat. On the driver's side, there's a couple of cracks in the leather, one on the driver's side, one on the passenger side. But to prove how amazing this is, I have never seen a tag with the woman, in this case, uh, Madge, uh, or June Madge, or June is her name. And we know it's red leather, thank you very much. But I think that's her last name because it's different on the other side. So they had, you know, different women doing the trimming, leaving their name with little tiny finishing nails holding that tag on. If that doesn't prove how original the car is in the interior, I don't know what I can do for you. So we put this back. The dash, all original. Um, you guys are going to ask and we're going to give you the honest answer. These switches, one is for a primer on the carb. Two, don't know. Uh, we can't, we don't think they did anything. Surprisingly, it was in the car in 1958, according to the family. So the original owner, Mr. Schwartz, is responsible for those three switches. Bless him. Um, the door panels, virtually, you know, brand new, unmarked, really great condition. You know, this dash piece of leather can go cracked, can get really sort of discolored. This has taken on a dark red feel to it, and it is what it is. It's an original leather that is faded. You know, you can tell by looking at these rather grotesque pieces of rubber here that have just sort of, you know, natural rubber that have expanded and just blown out over time that this windshield was never off the car. It was, it was as it was in 1954. You know, going over the rest of the car, I can tell you that this is original paint. In my opinion, this is original paint. The back fenders are original paint. Each door has a tiny blend in it where this must have been, you know, bicycles leaning over it over time, perhaps. But, you know, sort of imp upon inspection, there is paintwork that was done here. There is a chip in the paint. You know, there are chips in the paint. There's a couple of chips in the bonnet. Um, but that fender looks to be original and then there is in the front here a blend and it's interesting that where they painted this there's no sign of any damage on the other side of this so this again must have either had a small little mark dent or something um, this blends up into here and this lacquer that was put on at the time was obviously um, not as wonderful as the original paint because it, it cracked. It cracked in craze and was susceptible, susceptible to all this little chipping that was happening. That side's all original and you get to the door and there's a similar blend on the passenger door as well. Um, bumpers, the bumper irons all seem to be original. The trim, the grill, the windshield, all of that seems to be original. You're sitting on five original wire wheels, including the spare. And now let's go look in the trunk and let's talk about all the stuff that they managed not to lose over the years. So you open this up and the trim, the little light, the stay, everything is as it was. You've got the original spare, jack, wrench. There's the twin exhaust from the SE package. Um, knockoff hammer, tool kit, 
Um, most of the original tools are all in here. And then you've got this incredible variety of just weird stuff that either came with the car or they purchased it in period. There is the wonderful Lockheed uh, <laughs> little tin that holds the hose to bleed the brakes. You've got some lights, a contact set. I mean, all of this, a condenser. That's all really cool stuff. And there's a little tiny half tonneau uh, right there. Uh, we've got service manuals that came with the car and a box of spare parts, which is not back here anymore, but we've, I'm sure we've got a picture of it, of just all this weird stuff that they took off the car over the years and saved. Um, you can throw it out because it's probably useless, but it's, it shows you the mentality of the folks that had the car where they saved just everything. So all the goodies are back here. That closes wonderfully, locks perfectly. The panel gaps are as good as they were in 1954 from Jaguar. And the whole thing presents itself as a great driving car. Um, let's go look under the hood. Same thing, let's open this up. And obviously the coil's been replaced, but that's about it under here. You can see we've got original radiator, radiator cap. Got even all these old champion plug labels, which are kind of neat from the period. Um, brake reservoir, there's a grease gun under here. Uh, you can see the primer for on this side for the carbs in the wintertime, which is one of the switches under the dash. Um, we fit a brand new glass bottle because the glass bottle was kaput, but we found a proper old uh, Jag part for that for the uh, windshield washer fluid. You've got your um, ID plate correctly in place. You've got your body tag correctly in, in place. Everything you'd expect on an original car is here. So again, uh, look at the pictures online. Um, there's plenty of pictures on the underside. Remarkably, it is rock solid. You've got some surface rust here and there, but it is nothing but that. There's nothing that's perforated anywhere. And even, even the suspension with the original leather coverings on it in the back, the leaf springs, all in place. So bid with confidence. If you want an original car, you can drive it, you can show it, um, you can do whatever you'd like with it, but this needs to find a new home uh, this week. Thanks very much, guys. Good luck bidding.